गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक इज टैक्सो डीजी शिपिंग एग्जिट एग्जाम क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो वन इन द डेक्सिल फ्लोर स्विच शुड बी डैश एंड इंस्टॉल इन दी फोर एंड एफ प्लेन ऑप्शन ए प्लास्टिक कोटेड ऑप्शन बी मेटल कोटेड ऑप्शन सी अल्यूमिनियम कोटेड ऑप्शन डी नो कोटिंग The correct answer is option A, plastic coated. Because if it is metal coated, there is a chances of production of spark or static electricity can be received or absorbed by it, and there is a chances of fire hazard. So in order to avoid the spark production on the deck or any damage, anything to occur to prevent it, this plastic coated and also plastic coated helps to prevent corrosion also. Because this, your inert gas is more corrosive in nature because it carries of flue gases which is consists of carbon, sulfur, and so on products. So it can be corrosive in nature. So it has to be protected for long period of time. This plastic coating. Question number one zero two. IG pressure of cargo tank should be compared with that option A. PV breaker valve option B main line IG pressure gauge option C cargo manifold option D both A and B the correct answer is option A PV breaker valve so in order to maintain the IG pressure in the cargo tank it should be below the PV breaker valve otherwise PV breaker valve will be open and the whatever you are putting into the tank IG will be released by the PV valve so you have to maintain below the So we have to compare with P breaker valve. For question number one zero two, option A is the correct answer. Question number one zero three, as per mooring winch equipment guidelines, brake test has to be carried out. Option A annually, option B six monthly, option C by annually. That is two years once. Option D every dry dock. The correct answer is option A annually. So brake test certificate is valid for 12 months. So we have to carry out brake test every 12 months. So option A is the correct answer for question number 103. Question number 104. Flammable gases are expected at the following location on board tankers. Option A: cargo compartment, bridge, main deck, cargo control room. Option B: cargo compartment, engine room. Pump room. Option C. Option C. Cargo compartment, pump room, and main deck. Option D. Galley, pump room, and engine room. The correct answer is option C. Flammable gases are expected to be present in the cargo compartment, in the cargo tank, pump room, because the cargo operation is through the cargo pump, which is in the pump room, main deck, tank ventilation, PV breakers, PV walls. Or are present on the deck. Manifold connections are present on the deck. So if there is any leakages, it will be on the main deck. So option C is the correct answer for question number one zero four. Question number one zero five. The open cup flash point much greater than closed cup flash point because option A there is a great loss gas in open cup compared to closed cup. Option B no loss in gas and due to physical property of fuel. Option C, closed cup, the exposure of fuel is less. Option D, none of the above. Okay, what is open cup flash point? What is closed cup flash point? You see, open cup flash point. Measuring a flash point using an open cup method, the name suggests, conducted in a vessel which is exposed to the air outside. The temperature of the substance is gradually rise, and ignition sources pass over the top of it until it reaches the point at which the flashes are ignited. So it is exposed to atmosphere. The test method is exposed to atmosphere. We are testing the flash point of the liquid. Closed cup flash point. As the name suggests, the flash point in closed cup method is conducted inside a Closed vessel which is not open to the outside atmosphere. The lid is sealed, and the ignition source is introduced into the vessel itself, allowing for a closer approximation to real life condition. So this is the difference. So option A, the great, the 
there is a great loss gas in open cup compared to the closed cup is correct answer because it is exposed to atmosphere for question number 105 option a is the correct answer question number 106 fixed dry powder system is used in option a oil tanker option b chemical tanker option c gas carrier option d bulk carrier the correct answer is option c gas carrier gas carrier the cargo carried and boiling point of the cargo is like lpg lng it is minus 165 degrees celsius minus 161.5 degrees celsius is a boiling point so our water we cannot introduce because water is the positive pressure so foam mixing user we cannot use our water mixing users mixing system we cannot use fixed pipe and system until and the remaining option is dry chemical so we have to use the dry chemical powder to extinguish the fire for question for that is the reason we are using dry chemical powder system in gas carrier for question number 106 option c is the correct answer question number 107 on tankers crude oil washing list states among other things that during cow operation dash the ig system should be in operation the ig oxygen content must be below 4.5 percentage in order to start or continue washing option c the ig pressure is to be recorded prior to starting washing option b the quality of ig must be frequently checked and recorded for this the correct answer is option b question number 107 option b before carrying out the cow wash ig system should be in operation and it should be continuously is able to supply the ig less than 4.5 percentage when this cow washing is carried out this has to be checked as per solar when you are going to carry out the cow washing at, at any crop any time ig pressure should not be below the 200 mm water gauge pressure and also it states that ig has to be maintained the oxygen content in the ig has to be maintained below 8 percentage at all time so relatively compared to the solar for question number 107 option b is the correct answer question number 108 high ig temperature alarm is set at 55 degrees celsius option a option b 65 degrees celsius option c 85 degrees celsius option d 75 degrees celsius the correct answer is option b 65 degrees celsius next question is question number 109 during tank washing at undefined atmosphere the total water crew put per cargo tank should no case exceed dash meter cube per hour option a 180 option b 60 option c 120 option b 200 the correct answer is 60 meter cube per hour option b is correct answer for question number 109 question number 110 cow to be suspended if one of the following criteria is fulfilled cow washing option a cargo tank ig pressure is maintained above 500 mm of water gauge option b oxygen content of the tank is less than 5 percentage by volume option c if ig pressure drops to less than 200 mm of water gauge option d ig system is running satisfactory for question number 110 option c is the correct answer if the ig pressure drops less than 200 mm pv valve will open because of the negative pressure is creating inside the tank and i will so that will be the reason the air will be drawn into the system if the air is entered into it the oxygen will level be increased there is already static electricity will be producing when during cow washing that is the more dangerous of fire hazard to prevent this for question number 110 option c is the correct answer question number 111 flame detector b used to monitor fire option a true option b false the correct answer is option a true question number 112 allow sufficient oxygen in the tank to option a centrifugal pump 
option B a reciprocating pump option C a globe wall option D an adductor the correct answer is option D an adductor if you see this 112 question this little bit tricky question they are telling sufficient oxygen they are trying to say that atmosphere pressure should be there that should be the atmosphere pressure should be maintained inside this region in the tank that what they are trying to say but here they put was the word oxygen so for centrifugal pump it is not required sufficient oxygen is not required because there is a priming unit will be there and centrifugal pump draws the water as a draw the oil there is no need for air reciprocating pump even if it is a presence of air it has to it will be removed due the passive displacement so it is also not required the global a global operation can be done at any moment it will be above the tank all tank operation will be in the tank wall will be in the pump room on the deck so global operation of seen option of seen see the tank is not required yeah for an adductor op operation if you are doing adductor operation there is a there is a chances of loss of pressure because the adductor operation we carried out at end of the tank the stripping process removing the large quantity of what oil so there should be sufficient atmospheric pressure should be maintained to occur the adductor adducting operation because it is drawing out there is a chance of drop in pressure and it should be higher rate because it is already this velocity is increasing and also there is no presence of oil present in it and it cannot liberate any vapor gases to maintain the pressure vapor pre vapor pressure maintain is not able to occur inside the tank so we have to maintain sufficient atmospheric condition so relatively for 112 for question number 112 option d is the correct answer question number 113 one set of fireman outfit consists of option a protective clothing option b electric safety lamp option c axe option d all of the above the correct answer is option d all of the above question number 114 cld threshold limit value is an indication of how much of a toxic substance is applicable during working dash hours day after day option a 6 option b 9 option c 8 option d 12 as per the definition it is 8 hours per day yes, calculated for question number 114 option c is the correct answer question number 115 according to the regulation in force one of the following stripping device is a demand on an oil tanker which one option a stripping pump option b not any particular option c ejector option d vacuum strip the correct answer is option d not any particular so stripping device does not demand on oil tanker not any particular limit question number 116 prior to starting the cargo pump for discharge of cargo it must be ensured that the pump room piping is inserted option b the inert gas plant is running on standby option c the inert gas plant is ready for start up option d all ballast tanks are inserted for question number 116 option b is a correct answer prior to starting the cargo pumps there is a ship sort checklist is clearly mentioned that ig plant is running and it kept on standby before carrying out the discharge operation and the oxygen content inside the, in the ig system is less than 5 percentage they will check to it so option b is the correct answer for question number 116 question number 117 class c fire division will be constructed with non combustible with exception that combustible requirement option a true option b false the correct answer is option a true question number 118 what is the pumping capacity depends on option a suction pressure option b liquid temperature option c liquid viscosity option d total pressure head 
so for question number 118 option d is the correct answer that is the reason we are using centrifugal pump rather than we are using positive displacement pump positive displacement pump have a greater head pressure it will be developing at any pressure but quantity will be less so in order to maintain the quantity also pressure head and so we are using centrifugal pump so the pump capacity when you are fixing it is mainly depend upon the pressure head total pressure Question number one one nine. Recharging a previously used cartridge operated by tri chemical fire extinguisher is accomplished by dash. Is portable tri chemical fire extinguisher. Option A. Automated fire equipment servicing personnel only. Option B. Replacing the propellant cartridge and refilling it with pyrotechnic powder. Option C. Puncturing the cartridge seal after installation. option d recharging the cartridge and then refilling it with powder so for question number 119 option d is the correct answer cartridge which is driving medium is co2 cartridge it has to be recharged and the powder inside the fire extinguisher has to be refilled then it has to be used it. so for question number 119 option d is the correct answer question number 120 which charge checks to be carried out prior entering discharge port option a tank pressure control option b allage measurement option c preparation of ig and scrubber pump option d all of the above here for the question number 120 option d all of the above is the correct answer as i said earlier ship sort checklist and pre bunkering checklist sorry pre arrival checklist and with respect to cargo operation we will check all these things before going to the discharge operation and also we do cargo line pressure testing prior 48 hours minimum uh, maximum we will try out and ensure everything is operating not minimum or maximum so we have to try out this within 48 hours so we can ensure that everything is ready so for this is the reason we are doing it for question number 120 option d is the correct answer okay friends if you like my video please like and if you want to see more such videos you can subscribe if you have any doubts any clarification anywhere wrong you can suggest me in comment box thank you